Hello everyone. In the previous video we discussed dynamic user control with click event. In this video we will only focus on how to do it with database. So if you want to understand the complete from scratch, make sure you also watch the previous video. The link is in description. So, let's get started. I have created database with name DB items and a table with three columns title, subtitle and image. I have used var binary data type for image column in a table. I have used n-tier architecture to code this application. Here I have created two folders one for business logic layer, named as BLL, and another to data access layer, named as DAL. I have created a class in BLL folder named as class BLL. This class has some functions to send and get values from data access layer. Function named as save items. Takes icon, title, and subtitle in parameter. Then pass them to a function named as add items to table in data access layer. Now the function named as get items. Get all values from database table using a function named as read items table in data access layer. After this I have created two classes in DAL folder. One named as connection to store connection string. And another named as class DAL to store and retrieve data from database. Inside a connection class I have specified connection string to database. Inside a class DAL. A function named as add items to table. Takes icon, title, and subtitle as parameter values and save them to database table. But, before inserting image to database, we always need to convert it in binary format. Therefore, here I have converted icon to a binary format, then stored in database. Next another function, named as read items table. Get all values from database. Then store them in data table and return it. After we have created classes and written a code to insert and retrieve data from database. Now let's add and design form to insert items. Here I have added a picture box to upload icon and text boxes for title and subtitle. In upload image button click event. I have used open file dialog to select image and set to picture box. In save button click event I have created business logic layer class object to access function. Here I am passing values to function. Save items. To insert values to database. Now we can get values from database and set to dynamic user control. So, let's do it. Again, create a business logic layer class object. Use object to call function get items. And store result in data table object because get item function returns data table. Then first check, if data table is not empty also it should have record in it. In the previous video we specified 5 here with an intention to have 5 different dynamic user control. But now it has to be created based on the number of records coming from database. 
So, we can get the number of records using data table.rows.count. Now use data row object and also specify column name of the table which you want to access. Again to use an image coming from database we must reconvert it from binary formatted to bitmap image. So, I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.